right. Now, what I'm going to talk about is the need for an alternative life existence without science or mathematics. Now, that sounds crazy, but let, now just hear me out. For hundreds of years, thousands of years, people have been using mathematics to, to understand the dimensions of structures, the dimensions of trivial things written on paper. But the thing is, though, is we use those things in our daily lives to create homes and to uh, and to um, and to create anything that we do, you know, buildings and cars, things like that. But believe it or not, the right individual can build a structure, how no matter how small or large it is, without using mathematics written on paper, without following a blueprint, if they follow if they pay attention to the task at hand now you're now you're probably going to say that you know we have to do it so we can remember what what needs to be done what uh what the left side needs to be if it's larger than the other side or whatever but the thing is though is that <clears throat> human beings rely too much on the numeral value the value of the number instead of relying on their on their feelings and their gut you pay attention to what you're doing wholeheartedly you will not need mathematics in order to create structures around you if you pay attention to what you're doing you're able to create uh four four links four wall links of the same dimension without having to write it down that's all you need and people say, oh, well, you know, um, other people, they, they can't do that. The thing is, though, is that you can. But, you know, the right, it takes a right person to do it. Not everyone, you're right, not everyone can do it. But it takes one person, the a right individual, that has their mind on straight, that can pay, that pays attention to what they're doing to create structures without using mathematics or blueprints on paper. They can do it. And... People say that, well, you know, not everyone can do it, but, and, 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 and it's true, you know, people might need, uh, uh, other people might need um, ways to, you know, um, well, well, how did so-and-so um, create this building? You know, how, how did you do it? You know, I need the dimensions so I could reconstruct it, or how did my friend um, draw this uh, a triangle or trigon on this paper? How, how did you do it? All you need to do is pay attention to what you're looking at. Pay attention to what you're looking at. Feel it. Feel what you're doing. Be 100% involved in the, the task at hand. Uh, you know, you don't need the mathematics to understand how to create something. You don't need that. Nature, people say that nature follows math. No. No, math follows nature. Nature doesn't create things in terms of mathematics. It just, it's just that human beings seem to connect. You know, we say, oh, well, you know, um, the flower petals follow the, the summation equation of this or this or that or whatever. You know, uh, the, um, you know, um, uh, um, uh, whatever mathematician created, oh, well, you know, the, the, there's four, four, uh, there's five or seven or eight flower petals on this, on this flower. And, and, and wow, it seems to follow this summation equation. They're both the same. And math follows, I mean, a, 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 <coughs> um, nature follows math. No. The things that we create, mathematics, it, it's, it, it, it's because it's by, <clears throat> we just, we want to believe that nature follows it. But we're following nature. We're following nature. The things that we create is following what nature is doing. But nature doesn't utilize mathematics. M nature utilizes in its own existence in the fabric of reality just the brute strength of just existing and focusing on what it is, what it is, what, what nature is. It's just existing, existing and creating. <coughs> it's not sitting there writing things down on paper. Nature follows the um it, it follows its environment it follows it follows it feels around to create things that can be in balance nature doesn't follow math we follow nature math follows nature there's a two connection oh yeah well you know it's just by chance that the math equation that we created 
follows a flower petal. It, it's not that the flower petal was constructed the same way, what, what, uh, what you know, um, kept a, a summation equation away from us. You know, it, 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 it isn't that. It's just that what we created, um, we make that fit in our reality. We make the mathematics fit our reality. We make it fit. It isn't by chance. Some some math some math scientists may create something, and then by chance uh, by chance another scientist looks at it and says, "Oh well, you know what? This equation or this this whatever this formula follows the same structure as the when the bugs you know uh, fly out to mating every season or whatever the hell happens or the rotation of the planets. Oh yeah yeah, we're we're making things we're making our science follow nature. Nature doesn't follow science. Nature is nature." You know, as human beings, we are we are, we are part of the fabric of nature. We can create things just as nature creates things without having to follow a blueprint written down on paper. Now, this might also, you know, destroy mathematics and destroy science altogether. The brain doesn't follow math. It doesn't it doesn't follow calculations. It just sends signals out at the right moment it feels the right, right moment the things that we look at the brain is attached to us the brain is us we are the brain the brain is us the brain is part of the body you know the brain follows follows you know <clears throat> the brain is connected to everything that that we are as a person <clears throat> and this might blow your mind this is what i get at i believe i want to make a non, a non-calculating computer, if that makes sense. A, non, a computer that doesn't follow zeros and ones. A computer that, a non-computing computer, basically. It computes, but not in the same way that traditional computer does. Or the way that we think that our brain does. You know, human beings want to believe that, oh, well, if I write a number four down, then that means that the number four is something that popped up in my head. No, it's a construct of what we create from our imagination that fits our environment. That's all the numbers are. It's a construct that we create that we create that that we make fit to our environment. And in, and by chance, the equations and formulas follow the nature. But nature doesn't. But nature doesn't follow those formulas. It just it's just by chance that those formulas follow nature. Whatever discovery comes or whatever discoveries have been discovered. Nature follows by being brutally involved in its existence and creating things by feeling around in the proper manner. Now, we can create a computer that doesn't need to do that and can still communicate with traditional old computers or laptops or cell phones that use zeros and ones and other things. We can use a computer that feels, you know, by creating something, by, by allowing the computer to just feel what you want it to do. By, you know, like almost like a human brain, almost like an organic structure, an organic structure that doesn't follow zeros and ones, but a computer that, uh, that when you put in, when you type in something or when you want something, when you want it to follow something, a program or something, it follows it, not by calculating, um, um, when to do it or where to transfer it or, or, or how fast or whatever. Not by data, but by just feeling. The computer that can feel around and compute by just feeling. Not by calculations or numbers, but by just feeling around and understanding. You know, um, not e the computer doesn't even need to be a supercomputer. It just has to be, so it has to be something where um, it could just, um, it's just by just brute just by brutes, you know, just by doing it and just by creating something that can just, just do it. You know, just how the brain, the human brain works. We can create a computer that doesn't compute by, by numbers, you know, and that just, and that just feels around and understands what's going on, you know, in, 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 in a sense, it doesn't need to even be in high tech, non-computing computer. It just has to be a computer that follows the same things, the protocols, that the advanced computers follow now, but it's constructed in a way that reads data in a different manner that's much more of a natural thing. Like the way that human beings 
um, look at objects around them, you know, if the computer can guess and by calculating and, and by just by this, just by like a more humanistic nature, a computer could really be a more humanistic nature without following zeros and ones, you know, um, and, uh, and it can do everything that you want it to do, but in a different manner. And that is possible. And that right there will put, you know, uh, math and science asleep because, you know, um, people say that the first math mathematicians were um, African Americans. And uh, the way I see it is that the writings that they did for the dimensions of, uh, of, uh, um, of uh, shapes, of geometry, was just, was just a way to kind of, it wasn't anything that was concrete. It was more of like a trivial little thing that they did that wrote things down, you know. You know, um, but there is ways to do things without it, you know. If we can create a computer that doesn't utilize that, then that will just shut the game down. A computer that a non-computing computer in a traditional sense, the computer would not follow um, zeros and ones. It wouldn't compute in that way. It would compute in a way that it would realistically look at what you're trying to do, and you know you type an A and it'll create the A. You know you you would uh, put numbers in. You know, and it would put a number two plus three, you know, it would follow the protocols, but in a certain different manner that doesn't need to follow the same uh, um, traditional uh, laws and rules of traditional computers. And that is very much possible because the computer would be much more um, interlocked with. It, it, it would just be more like the human brain, you know, it would just be more like the human brain and it would just, it, it, it would give you what you want, but it would just, it would just calculate what you want. You know, you, you type in something and it would calculate it and it would give it back to you what you did, but it wouldn't do it in a traditional sense. There wouldn't be no numbers at all, no calculations. It would just be just, um, honest, down to earth, um, straightforward, um, calculating traditional human calculating brain calculating um but without the trivialness of zeros and ones and uh it would skip all that and it would still give you the same result that you want it'll be more organic and uh and like, like i said you no know, mathematics is just a, a a thing that we really don't really need in a daily basis it's more of like if you're a mathematician, it belongs to you, is what you want. But like I said, we want new things because we're unhealthy, you know. <clears throat> and we have to follow back to nature. The universe doesn't follow math. Why should we follow math, you know? Nature doesn't follow math. The way it creates patterns and flowers and, uh, and the way it creates uh, trees and the way the universe works doesn't follow math. It just follows what, what limits what things what things are happening around it it just follows by feeling and just adjusting by by its environment you know it just follows and changes you know and the computer could be kind of like that you know a different calculating way you know a different structural way of calculating something but by feeling and by adjusting you know you put type in an a and inside there'll be something that will just you know a shift and change in an organic matter manner that will give you the letter a it will pop up on your screen you know you type a sentence it will pop up on your screen that's exactly how the computer would be it will follow the structure of how the universe really works not math not zeros not ones not nothing just by feeling around and just by doing and adapting Adapting, that's what nature and the universe is, adapting and changing. And the computer could be just that. The non-computing computer could be just that. Just by adapting and changing to what you want, something inside changes. You put a number A and it changes and it shows up on your computer screen. You type a sentence and it changes and shifts in organic matter, manner that it shows it and it shows what you typed in. You know, it follows all the rules and protocols. And it will follow uh, the same thing that would follow uh, 
communicating with another traditional old computer with trivial zeros, it was ah. still be able to read that. So again, uh, this is Richard Cespedes. is um, a non-computer computer would just shut the game down in terms of um, what we need to learn and you know shut science and mathematics down 100%. All right, this is Rich Cispit is. Thank you very much for watching.